Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday morning and it's about 10 o'clock. I am heading out to go see my mom. If you missed the last vlog, I am in Arizona visiting some family. We kind of had to come here last minute and everything's okay. But um, yeah, we just, we decided to come home for a bit. Drew has a family member in the hospital. We also just have um, some family that we want to catch up with. We haven't seen anyone since Christmas. So I did my workout this morning. I'm going to head out to meet up with my mom. My hair is actually currently wet. Uh, I forgot a blow dryer and I was like, I'm going to my mom's anyway. So I'm just going to use, I'm going to do my hair at her house. And we're just going to hang out, chat, spend time, spend some girly time together. She has a doctor's appointment this morning that I think she's like pretty much done with now. So I am going to head over to her place, sip on my coffee that Drew went and got for me this morning, Drew and his mom, which was so nice. And just sort of see what I get up to when I'm home in Arizona. The goal for this week is to possibly go to a spring training game, go hiking, lay by the pool and read and obviously get my work done and maintain my routine so we'll see if we can fit all of that into like a few days but welcome let's do it i was really crying i love this song it makes me cry oh, i'm literally crying tears i just pulled up to my mom's and I must be PMSing because I was just thinking about Drew and listening to this song and I just started like sobbing when I was driving. <laughs> I love that guy. Oh my god. Anyways, what? <laughs> Time to go do my hair. Um, fun fact by the way, my mom, well this is construction, but behind that building um, is the building where Drew and I used to live in, I guess from 2018 to 2019, um, where the rats were. The rats, if you were not around for that saga, basically Drew and I lived in an apartment for, well it was supposed to be a year, it ended up being like eight or nine months, that they let us out of the lease because there were rats crawling in the roof, crawling in the walls, crawling under the bathtub. One of them crawled into my neighbor's place through his toilet so that was fun my mom just saw me um I'm gonna head inside in a second but uh, that was really fun it was a fun time in life and there was like they basically realized like yeah that we can't keep you here so they let us out of our lease and we moved to LA for the first time so anyway okay done crying done talking about the rats but if you remember if you remember rat chats those were the days I feel like I've been bringing it up a lot more lately but also it was kind of an iconic time in my life so anyway all right let's go see my mom and have some girl time all right I'm with my mom we're reunited and we're going to chop chop to get some lunch get a nice little salad and sit outside this weather is mwah, perfect gorgeous yeah. All right, we're at Chop Shop. My mom and I both decided to get a Thai chicken salad. It looks divine. We both got no cilantro. It's delicious. Is it good? Yes. Let's take a taste test together until someone comes and sees me filming and then I will cower away. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. Ooh, it's spicy. Delicious. Look at this. Back around. Beautiful weather. This almost makes me want to move back to Arizona, but then I remember how hot it gets and I say, never mind. All right, I'm back at my mom's after lunch and um, we had a lovely lunch date and now we're gonna head to the pool. We just want to enjoy the beautiful weather, so we got to do it. We got to just sit by the pool in our clothes. I wish I brought my Kindle, but maybe tomorrow. I love it so much and um, I turned on the camera to show you One of the cats was sleeping behind me and she was digging her claws in my back But I think she left when I started talking, but yeah, just had such a nice family dinner. There were like six of us Laughed chatted and now I'm going to do it's like 7 30 7 40 and I'm gonna do a little bit of um, Some editing importing etc. And then we're gonna go to bed. So we will see you tomorrow. Good night
morning everybody it is tuesday now it is day two of being well second full day of being in arizona and i admittedly didn't get much work done yesterday so today is gonna be like a big editing day i have a main channel video that's supposed to go up tomorrow that i need to finish editing i also have i think another full main channel video to film and edit in the meantime as well <laughs> it's probably not all gonna get done and that's totally fine um but just trying to trying to make it work. So I'm gonna hunker down and edit for the next couple of hours. I'm on day two of my workouts on vacation. I gotta say, it feels great. It actually feels great. I might start doing this. Got my smoothie and we're gonna get to work. So let's do it. I just turned off the light and now I realize I'm sitting here mostly in the dark, um, but this has been a very eventful day. Uh, I was doing work on my laptop. Today was just like a computer catch up day and Drew's mom had come home from an appointment and she was like, Carrie, you have a flat tire. And I was like, huh? And so, yep, ended up like, I guess, running over a screw and honestly it was time for me to get new tires anyways mine were almost six years old and i think they recommend you change them after six years or at least where i get them from so it was gonna need to happen eventually it was just like oh one of those things that was so annoying but thank god it happened where it did just like parked in the driveway instead of on the way here that would have been awful so that was kind of an unexpected thing and then my mom came over to drew's family's house and we had dinner we made everybody dinner and drew's niece helped me cook dinner and then we played little like hand clapping games and stuff and just had a great time so it's been a really good day we're gonna go to bed early i've been like getting back into going to bed earlier we're an hour later here and it's been so nice i haven't read my kindle since i've been here so i'm gonna go lay in bed read my kindle but it's just been such a good day it's been like heartwarming i've had so much good family time since we've been here and that's why we're here so this first leg of the trip we've spent the night at drew's family's house and now we're gonna spend the night at my mom's house starting tomorrow um we're getting drew's nieces out of school tomorrow they have a half day so we're gonna go pick them up and have some fun so that'll be great and we'll see what else we get up to the rest of the week but so far it's just been so so great we've been here like two days and i have enjoyed it more than you know so anyway off to bed good night it's been really hot i packed nothing but sweaters it's supposed to be like 78 degrees tomorrow i don't know what i was thinking so we have to like buy a t-shirt or something good night good morning my third day in a row of working out while i'm out of town slash on vacation i'm quite proud of myself so even though it's a lot later in the day than i want for it to be it's 8 30 right now i have a lot to do and i have to leave by noon so i need to do my workout get ready and somehow perform miracles in the two hours of work that i have to do today so let's do it Ah, 
Good morning. It is Thursday. I finished my workout reluctantly. They're getting harder to do this week. I've been indulging a lot, eating a lot of really good food, and I've been enjoying myself. But I am very proud of myself for staying consistent with my workouts. Haven't been consistent with filming, have been dropping the ball left and right with work. Um, however, I have been working out every single day consistently. I think this is like the fourth day in a row or something like that. We're now at my mom's. For this little leg of the trip so i didn't have the nice big backyard to work out in i could have done the patio but eh, not the same but i still enjoyed it i still feel great so it's like a rare cloudy rainy day or kind of semi rainy i don't think it's gonna rain much anymore there's also a fan in here on for noise and the laundry in the background so there might be a lot of white noise but um yeah we're just gonna see what we get up to today we might go get some lunch we might get some coffee at some point like a nice little afternoon coffee it's about noon at the moment and we'll see what else we get up to we had thought about possibly going to a spring training baseball game which if you didn't know arizona holds like a lot of teams spring training games it happens like pretty much throughout the entirety of march and there are like you know seven stadiums or something like that maybe more than that where teams hold their spring training so there's like the dodgers the a's the rockies the diamondbacks all sorts of stuff and it's just like a fun part of being in arizona you know i never i have, don't think i've been since i was a kid so there's a possibility me we might go to one tomorrow if it's not too hot but i also still want to read by the pool we'll see um i would love to hike so maybe we might do that tomorrow morning or saturday morning or something like that so there's still a lot to do we've only been here it's what thursday we got here sunday and we still have like three more days so we're gonna make the best of it and spend some quality time with my mom it's been surprisingly difficult to vlog here and i'm realizing why i never do but it's fun to have these little bits and clips you know nothing crazy but just little bits and pieces to look back on so maybe i'll show you some hopefully some beautiful rainy arizona desert footage because that is like wow well, magnificent but if not you know it's all good so all right let's go carry on with our day yes i did come lay in bed just to relax a little it did start raining just now which is very exciting and one thing that i will say that arizona has everywhere else in the world that i've been i haven't been that many places in the world but i've been a lot of places in the u.s and like literally nowhere has better sunsets and better smelling rain i don't know how to describe it it's called what are the bushes called Creosote. creosote bushes that exist in the Sonoran Desert and when it's when it rains on top of them I almost said when it snows it doesn't really snow here when it rains on top of them it releases this like scent and I don't it's just like kind of dirt kind of smells like dirt but it's like the, it's the most nostalgic smell of my life it reminds me of being like a little little girl and I can smell it all we have like the windows open I can smell it all throughout the house and I'm thriving okay let's go get pizza me too Ooh, sit up front. Mother. Ooh, I love it. You're warmer than the sun, so please. Bubbly and shining day. I can see the even bench watch you just. Best pizza ever. If you're in Phoenix, please come here. We usually like to sit out on the patio here, but it's raining and it's not covered, so we'll, uh, we'll sit inside. But I'm so excited. Period. The pizza I always get, no one asks, but I'm gonna tell you, is called a Casanova. It's the best pizza ever. I love it so much. Look at how nice it is in here. We have views all around of the rain. This is like the best lunch ever. Oh, there you go. My heavens. These are honey hot wings, hot honey wings, whatever you call it. Oh my god. And then for the star of the show, we have the pizzas. This one is mine. I could not be more excited. It's a feast. <laughs>
Drew is making dramatic shivering noises. Hello, good morning. It is Friday already, somehow. And um, it's 7 a.m. and we're going for a hike. I am that girlfriend. I just woke him up at 6.50. <laughs> we were gonna have to get up and keep work anyways. But I was like, can we go hiking? And he was like, mm. and I've been bothering him about it all week, so. We're gonna go on a nice little sunrise hike. The sun is literally rising as we speak. Wow, can't wait. Look at that view from the parking lot. Wow. Okay, let's do it. Drew and I actually haven't been to this mountain range in like, I mean, probably since before we moved to LA the first time. And they've redone it so much. Like, they've built little pathways and railways and bathrooms and sinks. They definitely poured some money into it. Trash cans everywhere. Really, really nice. This is called Piestua Peak, by the way, in case you're ever visiting or if you live here. It's been like here since forever. I remember hiking this in Girl Scouts when I was a kid. Let's do it. And it smells like rain. I'm so happy. This is called the Choya Trailhead. Lovely. Oh, big, big signage at every mountain you go to because Every year people die because they don't bring enough water and they don't think they're gonna need enough. Okay, onward. We come back to Arizona to visit and we're suddenly experts. Like, yeah, people make this mistake all the time. I mean, they do though. I mean, it's true. Yeah, this happens. People get rescued by helicopter up on these mountains, like, often. Come on, come on. This is the time of year that I love Arizona, but um, don't ask me in a couple months. I don't know her. It's gonna be too hot to survive. Fun fact right here, I was hiking. I used to always take friends when they would come in town to come hike this trail. And I was with my friend Liz, Ryan, and right under this rock, a Gila monster ran out. And she was like, what was that? I was like, girl, we gotta run. That was my first, I think my first like in-person, in the wild, Gila monster sighting. <laughs> if you want things of nightmares, Google it. Thanks to people. Morning people and night people. Holy yellow lighting. Okay. We are back from our hike. It is like eight, um, just before 8.15 a.m. And now I am going to make a little smoothie. However, I ran out of my protein powder yesterday. So we're gonna get real experimental. I thought my phone was ringing. Have some frozen raspberries and bananas. So we'll use that. I really don't love raspberries and smoothies because of the seeds. I gotta use these up. So we'll do like half of these raspberries. I'm thinking we'll do like a peanut butter and jelly type of smoothie. You know, it's so funny when I was saying, when I was making that like fruit bar, I was like, I don't know how I feel about strawberries and peanut butter. Someone was like, what about peanut butter and jelly? And I was like, you're so right. <laughs> so we're gonna do a frozen banana and some of this protein powder that Drew has. I also ran out of spinach, so we're not gonna have that, but that's okay. So he's got Coase Organic. This is like the vegan, plain, unflavored protein powder. He doesn't like flavored stuff. He likes to add in his own flavor. And he said it always tastes like, um, like artificial sweetener. So I'm gonna do two scoops of this and then some PB2, which is like a peanut butter powder. This is technically, I think, chocolate peanut butter. I don't taste any chocolate in it, just saying. What is the usual serving size? Two tablespoons. This one doesn't come with a scoop, so that's all right. So we got one, two. 
Sure. This is an experiment, so I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't be good. You can pretty much put anything in a smoothie and it'll be delish. I am profusely sweating under this sweatshirt, by the way, but it was like 49 degrees when we were hiking. Kind of amazing, honestly. All right, we're gonna do like a cup of almond milk. We shall see how this goes. All right, let's give it a taste test. Um, your protein powder is disgusting. Why? It doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like chalk. You never had chalk before? We're back at the same place that I went to lunch with my mom the other day, but there's a coffee shop inside. So we're gonna take a little pit stop to get some coffee. Seed House is what it's called. We're gonna try it out. Okay, let's see what we got here. I have a decaf ice latte as usual. Got a little strawberry pop tart situation. We've got a honey oat latte and a pecan bun. Should we try them? They look really good. Good. Yeah, can I try a bite of yours? Look at that. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It's like on pie. All right, it's a little while later. It's about like 1 p.m. I think. And oh yeah, there comes the sun. The clouds have kind of been weaving in and out, but I decided to take myself to the pool, finally check off one of the things on my list, which is read my Kindle by the pool. So I've got it here. I'm starting a new book. I'm starting based on your recommendations in the last vlog where I talked about reading. I'm gonna read Love and Other Words and it looks pretty promising. A lot of you said that it's really good. Some of you said it was a little slow. I got it based off of another recommendation. Sorry about the landscaping in the background if you can hear that, but we have the like nice sounds of the fountains. The pool at my mom's condo is so nice. Like, I love this pool. I love it. I've been coming here for years. Even when we used to live in our old place across the street, we used to walk over here all the time. Like, I love it so much. So anyway, we're gonna relax and enjoy this winter day in Arizona. I mean, it's just so beautiful outside. Our coffee was delicious. Our pastries were delicious. We sat outside and enjoyed ourselves. Even the rain yesterday was perfect. Like. I just could not be happier. I really don't want to go home and I am contemplating extending our trip because this is the best time of the year to be in Arizona, in my opinion. Ah, so happy. All right, it is much later. It's like an hour and a half later. Now a plane is going overhead, love it. And I am feeling so relaxed, like more relaxed than I've been in a really, really long time. I have enjoyed this so much. I needed this time. I'm an introvert and I've been nonstop go, go, go doing family stuff for the last like six days, I think. So it's just been so nice to have some time to recharge. My mom's actually in her place taking a nap. Drew's been spending time with his mom, visiting family in the hospital, stuff like that. And um, yeah, all of the family time has just been so incredible. Obviously I haven't vlogged it, but like it's just been so good for my soul. And I feel so good. I just feel so happy. I feel so recharged. So I'm gonna head inside, take a quick little rinse off because I was sitting over there in the pool in the hot tub for a little bit. Then I'm just gonna put my clothes back on that I had earlier and we're gonna head over to Drew's family's house and have some dinner tonight. So that'll be really nice. And then we'll see what else we get up to for the final day of the trip. Smile. Ready? I'm gonna take a photo from up here. Yeah! Where are you?
so keep in mind. Keep in mind. I talk about all the shit that they talk about.